So we just arrived at Seathwaite. Um, 7.15 on a Sunday morning. We are following this map. We're we'll here. here. We'll put a screenshot of that one. And this is the Scarfell Pike from Seathwaite Circular. 15k loop. Well, an elevation of just over a thousand meters. So, we're both reasonably fit. Do you say that we're reasonably fit, even though Sophie's sporting a little bit of a cold right now? And um, we'll head to the start point. Feeling prepared. We're feeling very prepared. We're wrapped up, we're expecting rain. Drizzle, mist. Seven, seven degrees. Seven degrees on the peak, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, no traffic coming in on Sunday morning, start of July. Excited. Oh, look at the wrong side of the fence. Hello. Morning, ladies. Morning. The beginning of the trail actually stopped here. Thing. like a spider with six invisible legs. <laughs> A bit of a kiss place. This is where um, it starts to get me a little puff. Mistake taken, we come out of the bridge and walked up this windy path and we have to go down as well along. The rain's coming in now, so rather than get the can all the wet, I'm gonna just do a quick snapshot. Still stunning views. 8.15, the rain stopped, and we're just about to say goodbye. Down there. Camp, right. Come all the way along. We're not really going much in the way of elevation. But it's an absolutely fantastic walk. So far from a We've got some abandoned buildings coming up. Some abandoned buildings coming up, let me zoom in. Or are they just big boulders? They are. Big boulders, my love. <laughs> <laughs> Good old zoom lens. Yeah, um, energy-wise, doing really well. No problems whatsoever yet. We've only been going about 45 minutes. We stopped. Evens out a little bit. Still got some way to go. Been going a good hour. Very warm. All in good form. Nothing too strenuous. I would, I, I would liken it to just walking upstairs. Obviously, just watching every step to save a fall or a trip. Um, the rocks are very wet as well, so. For us, we've already had a little conversation about how happy we are to have had good, grippy walking shoes. And I wouldn't like to walk on these in the wet and unsuitable footwear. I'm sure many people do, and I'm sure they do okay, but that's not me. I'm really happy, happy that they're waterproof, because my feet are toasty. We're actually stopping for our first serious um, rest and some snack. Joined by the sheep. Feels like a very lovely place to stop by this bridge. We've been going a good hour, feels pretty good. It's, just, it's always good. Oh my goodness, give me a good, good of a walk.
The rain's coming down now. It's a bit of a hairy, precarious ledge along the edge here. Our first bit of a scramble. Ooh, oh, goodness. Put the camera away. Needs a balance. Need to live. So it's a little bit of a... These steps seem to go on forever. We've had a, a bit of a scramble up there, you know, you've got to reach down. Use your hands. It's very steep at the sides, but you're far off, away from the edge for it to not be precarious. A nice steady bit now, we've been uphill, we've, we've broken the back of the first uphill bit. There's that first peak. We've got some lovely stepping stones that Sophie is going to model by going across them in a, her cat-like ways. Look at this, the grace. It flows. It's like an air elemental. Oh, I just... Hold on, I, 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 I can't. I mean, there's four tens in that. I can't match such dexterity. There we go. Oh, Trail. Very manageable and massively helped by the piles of marker stones that are, that are just helping us across this trail. I mean, this is just quite precarious. You do have to watch your feet. You wouldn't want to put an ankle in one of these gaps. And twist yourself. We're heading okay. to the to the right. So it's doing a good job. If she suddenly disappears around the hole, I will end filming. <laughs> and what makes it fun is just having to really watch your foot in and pick a way through. There's an element of problem solving. It's not just aimless wandering. Every step is progress. And yet, one slip could be a busted ankle and you would not want to get a busted ankle up here. It's friends and family. <laughs> you wouldn't want to get a busted anything, would you, babe? Yeah. We've just come up this. So it's heading on up. I'll try and give you an idea of how steep it is. Let's sit down. This is a real mountain. It's actually quite scary for me. I'm not great with heights. There's no path as such. I can see something right in the distance up there. Yeah, head for the markers, right ahead, safe. It was definitely hairy earlier. So yeah. I imagine the views would be next level. But I'm glad I cannot see over the edge. We're nearing the summit. Still an absolute sh shopping mall. Loose, green, boulders. It's like somebody's picked up a beach. There we have it. Those big 
after many hours in the fog. I just can't see nothing. Give some context about uh, people doing the, the little scramble up and down that we did. And where it was so misty and we couldn't actually see down those sides. It's really steep. There's a drop on the other side exactly the same. Yeah. Literally six foot across. They've got a dog with them. Oh Coming down, is this? There's a few, few less people this way. We're getting little bumps, but we just had our first slip. Did it right in front of some people. They're like, You all right? I'm like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. And inside, I'm going, oh. So I'm going to take a moment to explain this little bit of clip. As we're walking along here, I was thinking, What a great valley that is. And I didn't notice that actually this little bit here, the path didn't go through. And if we look in a little bit further, it looks like the path goes across, but it doesn't. We go up there and then we had to shimmy crab-like across the face of that, that bit there. That was sheer. We didn't want to fall. It was only six inches wide. Go a bit further and then you go up the rock face. Literally, you have to climb up and then along there. There's no way the path went that way and you couldn't, you know, you didn't want to fall down there. That was a big no. I'll just zoom in a little bit more and you can, you will be able to see exactly what I mean because I spotted two people in front of us. At that point I didn't notice and then I'm like, hold on, what's that? Oh my God. And that was the people in front of us having to climb that sheer rock face that I was just telling you about. That was, it was, yeah, I did Google after and people who have, the mountain rescue have been to that spot a few times, a couple of people have fallen. It was not great. So, yeah, we did make it across. It was extremely hairy, extremely scary. We had to rest before we went and we went in between. Um, if I had known, I'm not sure I would have done it. Because we had to, we did, and yeah, we made it across the other side. Just across the most hairiest bit then. Just to see if we can... Probably won't be able to do it justice. Oh, be careful. See where you're going, John. So we had to scramble across, kind of... Where are we? Across here. To the path, but it's so steep and you just kind of crabbing along it wasn't great you do not want to go down there i'm gonna go first i'm gonna just try and i'm not gonna take the camera we've got to go along here and we've actually got to climb up that face there to the top um, pretty hairy we can do it yeah we let's, can do it let's go along this path we come along and we've got to sort of crab along the edge and we've just had to climb this and it, at this point, it wasn't scrambling, it was climbing. Uh, it, that was bloody, bloody scary. I'm hoping it doesn't get too bad down on the other side. Just didn't even want to think about it. Lake. We've hit the lake, which is a three-quarter point by the looks of everything. We're going to stop down there and... Have a little bit of a breather. Come from that way. Somewhere now. It's been a long old track, my love, isn't it? And back onto the back onto the path. There we go. Hello, Mountain Lake. Goodbye, Camp Calder. Taking a little rest. In the Lake District. By, by the lake. lake. So we're going to be going out of shot very shortly. 
There's a wonderful path now all the way along. It's a wonderfully beautiful stream. We're actually nine hours on this journey now. On the paperwork it says six hours. We don't walk so fast in our middle age. I really want to appreciate this little bit at the end. So I really want to appreciate this little bit at the end. But I'm so bloody knackered. I can't the old my eyeballs up. It's, it's really downhill, downhill, steep, steep, steep. If I hold the camera straight, you can see it's so. <laughs> but it's so wonderful heading down here. No idea. For the memories, a lovely bit at the end, but unable to appreciate as much due to the the heavy physical toll taken upon my body. But it's all good. So we have actually made it back to Seathwaite campsite. Every bone in my body is screaming. Rest! I'm hungry. I feel okay. I don't feel... I feel in pain. My feet hurt. My feet hurt probably... Uh, I'll give my feet a 5 out of 10 for hurting. Uh, what are you on, babe, for feet? Uh, feet are fine. Little toes. Little toes? Like two. two out of 10, yeah? Um, ankles fine. Knees about half an hour ago were on about a 7. 7 out of 10. And back about half an hour ago was on a... Um, six, but since we've flattened out, yes, it definitely helps flattening out. Had a quick check on the pedometer, we we're at about 30,000 steps at this point. 30,000 not flat, easy steps. Um, would I do it again? Maybe when I'm older, in a different well, it'll always be when I'm older because. Even if I went now, I'd be doing it when I'm older. But what I'm saying is, I don't think I would do this route again. It would be the more direct one. There were some really hairy parts. Sophie actually excelled. I went above and beyond. Several times. Several times. And I, I would, it was very exhilarating. But it was a bit like, if I don't do this right, it's all going to go wrong. It's all going to go wrong. And by go wrong, we mean fall off and die. So, yeah, there was. it wasn't just a straight path to the top. There was lots of bits that wasn't path. But really, 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 really glad that we'd done it.